welcome to Special Report. Even as leaders from across the world met at the World Information Summit in Tunisia over the last two days to debate on who should control the internet, over the next half hour we're going to take you on the internet trail through India as the web travels past sleepy towns and border areas to obscure villages where it's making its presence felt. Teherka in Madhya Pradesh is a village that throws up only one result on Google. Located about 60 kilometers from touristy Ocha, the road is full of potholes and for miles one can see nothing but open fields. This is rural India at its most basic. And yet in a narrow lane in this village, the internet is making its presence felt. Here one is suddenly face to face with posters that boast about connectivity, e-governance and web surfing. Teenagers from the village flock here to get a taste of the World Wide Web. Many of them go through an entire course in IT organized by a local NGO running this center only to get to the internet surfing module. We learned internet he now spends time not just helping people from his village to get information, but is actually teaching other youngsters how to log on. Few of them go to English medium schools, but that's not a problem thanks to sites in languages like Hindi. While several parts of rural India are still not connected, NGOs and entrepreneurs have been building projects to IT enable these villages. The biggest challenge, they say, is convincing people that the computer and internet will allow them to access information that they need. और सबसे अच्छी चीज ये रही उसमें कि हिंदी के द्वारा भी इस चीज को हम लोगों ने किया है तो लोगों को ये लगता है कि हां अब हम बहुत करीब हैं अपने लोगों के कभी भी हम जानकारी ले सकते हैं और दूसरी जो चीजें होती थी जैसे कि अभी किसानों के संग जो दिक्कतें आती थी कि हमको अपने मंडी से बेचना है कोई चीज तो अभी क्या होता था कि वहां से लेके चलते हैं सामान और 40 किलोमीटर जाते हैं मंडी में बेचने और रेट चेंज हो जाते हैं उनके संग दिक्कत ये होती कि वो जिस रेट में अब लेने वाले जो लोग हैं उसी रेट में लेंगे क्योंकि उनकी अटक जाती है उस समय ये चीज को लेके कि नहीं ये लोग लेके आ गए हैं हमको कम रेट में देंगे तो भी देना पड़ेगा तो अभी उनको फैसिलिटी ये मिल जाती है कि पहले से मालूम होता है कि इस रेट में ये रेट में हमारी इस चीज की बिक रही है फिर उसी हिसाब से लोग निकलते हैं और आसपास दो तीन मंडियां हैं तो फिर वो डिसाइड भी करते हैं कि किस मंडी में अच्छी रेट मिलने वाले इन सम विलेजेस द वेब हैज हेल्प पीपल लाइक शिल्पा हु लिव्स इन निवारी फाइंड जॉब्स नॉट येट आउट ऑफ स्कूल शी इज नाउ इक्विप्ड टू फेस द वर्ल्ड her parents were initially reluctant to send her out of the house, but she joined Tara Kendra, run by an NGO called Tara Heart. She now works here, training other young boys and girls. These are Kishan, they have a lot of problems in the field, so they can help them with their help. They don't know their website, so they can search them on Google Word. They can search them on Google Word. They can search them on Google Word. रिजल्ट्स के उसमें परपस में ज़्यादा हम लोग के यहाँ आते हैं और किसी भी कोई प्रॉब्लम होती है वो भी हम लोग शॉल्व करा देते हैं नेट के जरिए या मेल करनी है किसी को वो भी उनकी मेल करा देते हैं उनको नहीं आती है उसके बारे में बताते भी हैं। Like Shilpa and Asif Sheikh, Rajat is an enterprising young man. He's been using the internet to provide e-governance facilities to others in his village. From simple things like helping people get their driving license to sending out mail requests for copies of old bills. He charges a small fee and uses the internet to get their work done in one-fourth the time and at one-third the cost. If there is a complaint in any way, like in any way, there is a lot of pain in any way, there is a lot of pain in any way. People have given us the knowledge that you have to give us a complaint. We will send it to the collector of the collector. So, we have helped the people of the collector. People have come to the collector of the collector. हम उसको भेजते थे कम कम कंप्यूटर के द्वारा जो ई गवर्नेंस के हमारे यहाँ ठीक होंगे में बैठे हैं सर संजीव खरे उनके पास। We to a large extent is are looking at putting a click and mortar solution because you need the hardware, you need the physical place, but the click cuts down the transaction cost. In the end, the name of the game is how do you make it sustainable and how do you add value to people's life, which they're not willing to pay for. And in Tarahat. That's been our aim right from the beginning. Because the DA group has one mandate, create sustainable livelihoods. 
and we feel very strongly that if you can enable that, that's a huge step forward in development of rural India. And it's not just rural India that's woken up to the wonders of the web. Small towns in India are also savouring the joys of internet connectivity. We visited Agra, one of the biggest tourist hotspots in North India, visited by about 6 lakh foreign tourists every year. This has changed the way small businesses in Agra function. Internet cafes have mushroomed all over town and the cyber cafe owners tell us it's not just foreigners who are coming in thick and fast, but locals, many of whom sometimes don't even know how to type. जो आ रही है वो यही चाहती है कि मैं इंटरनेट यूज करूं चैटिंग करूं ये करूं वो करूं वो तो मतलब उनकी बहुत ख्वाहिशें हैं क्योंकि इधर आके हम लोग देख रहे हैं क्योंकि हर इंसान यही चाह रहा है कि मैं इंटरनेट पर बैठूं पर ये इंटरनेट एक ऐसी चीज हो चुकी है कि एक इंसान की जरूरत बन चुकी है क्योंकि इंग्लिश की तो थी इंग्लिश तो यूज करता ही है पर आज हम इधर देख रहे हैं कि हिंदुस्तानी की जरूरत बन चुकी है not to be left behind, housewives in small town India have realized that if they want to keep pace with the changing world, the internet is an absolute essential. Mrs. Sharma decided it was not enough that her daughter learned how to operate the computer and surf the net at school. So she enrolled in an internet course and is now a veteran. Moving out of the town, the internet is making its presence felt in cities where it's beginning to change relationships as well. It's slowly becoming the solution to everything. The internet has become a necessity in urban India and here it has over 25 million users. And now it's beginning to attract the surprisingly average Indian who turns to it not just for information but to experiment within relationships. The World Wide Web, to use a cliché, has become larger than life. In times where every relationship is being tested, the web opens new doors, teasing and taunting. It redefines fidelity and paves the way for virtual infidelity. On the internet, you could switch between Jekyll and Hyde with ease, give schizophrenia a new twist and yet remain incognito. And an alarming number of people seem to thrive on this. For these people, the internet becomes the best and safest medium to invest in. But how do romantic liaisons function on the internet and do they have happy endings? The trend of liaising on the internet has had a fallout. According to psychiatrists, repeated access to a virtual world has the power to dull reality and often leads to relationships that are skewed. We will find in the next 10-20 years personality changes like introversion, like going into their own shell and cocoon, living life in aloofness which is not going to be so much likable in the uh, public context. And if the cyber culture is going to sweep us uh, as uh, growing personalities, it is definitely going to affect the younger generation. Rishi is a 29-year-old banker from Mumbai. He's been living with his partner for the last three years. Fascinated by the internet, he began spending many hours a day tracking like-minded people. He and his partner say the internet allowed them to meet other open-minded couples who were looking for what is described on internet sites as activity partners. I think a lot of people do try and get to know the individual or the people actually in this case since we're talking about more than one person being involved uh, we you do get to know these people you do get to interact with them before um, I personally do that I never you know say oh well you know let's just get it on with <laughs> Net has also played a role in the way alliances are formed. Shadi.com, one of India's most popular and lucrative online matrimonial solutions, was launched in 1997. 
It has since succeeded in bringing lakhs of lonely hearts together. It's a global platform for eligible brides and grooms to come to one place and uh, find each other. It is a very, very easy sit at your own, own place and just locate people, interact with people before you get to meet them. And based on those interactions, you choose whether you want to meet those people or no. In the process, you know, overcome all the awkwardness associated with matrimonial meetings which happen otherwise. Meet Mrs. Sharma. She's your average mother. Worried about her son's future, she created a profile for him on Shadi.com and started zeroing in on prospective brides. Between her son and herself, they found Ruchika Talwar online. Gaurav and Ruchika started exchanging emails and a few weeks later, they met. Love happened along the way and the two are now engaged. They are one of the success stories attributed to Shadi.com. Very small families are going in. That's why this is the best way of computer. I knew Shadi.com from Shadi.com. I was watching for 3-4 months. According to my choice, I was chatting with the girl online. I was talking about the phone. I was talking about the phone. I was talking about the phone. On behalf of the parent side, they will be searching for a girl for us and giving to them in relations or other than relations. We have to see them and then the things get moving. Now here, now here the choices are. So I am on a net. I know what I have to do. I know what sort of girl I am looking for. So which is very important when I am deciding my own future. Sites like these are raking in the money, giving relationships a new platform to emerge. Psychologists say that people who are low on confidence and don't necessarily have the courage for one-on-one -on -one interaction with members of the opposite sex often find themselves through the internet. And it's not just marriage. While dating may be a concept that doesn't have its roots in India, more and more people are finding dates online, especially in the 25 to 30 year age group. Dating is something which, is, which was happening earlier also. Whether we accept it socially or not, it was there. Since the, uh, we have the influence of the West, Western culture and our disposable income is also you know, uh, increasing in terms and we, uh, we want to expand our networks in terms of uh, friendship is something which we choose. Uh, it doesn't come from our family or you know, uh, relatives. And one can't talk about the internet without taking a peek into the fascinating world of pornography. Till 10 years ago, pornography was all about furtive glances over your shoulder, a locked room, a dirty magazine and a trip into fantasy land. Today with pornography available at the click of a mouse, magazines have become redundant and downloading porn from the internet onto mobile phones, the latest big thing. People prefer the online porn is because uh, first of all it's free of charge whereas at the same time you have to spend a lot of money on magazines and that's the other thing is that there's a lot of variety in the models and as if we consider the streaming videos thing, the streaming video also comes for a charge and nowadays most of the people prefer the free stuff, that's why they go for the online porn. And yet not all relationships formed online are sleazy or sexual. For not so savvy netizens, blogging started off like a web journal, but today blogs have taken on a cult-like status. Want to discuss the latest Booker nominee or the Rolling Stones world tour? Whether it's a failed romance or general angst, it's part of the global bind in Bloggerland. But this also creates problems since there's no censorship. Comments against the Delhi-based high-profile Indian Institute of Planning and Management cost Mumbai-based Gaurav Sabnis his job at IBM last month. Gaurav, who was a sales executive at IBM, was airing what he says are his personal opinions on his diary on the internet or his blog. The case does raise issues about privacy laws on the internet as well. Ridiculous threats were being made about laptops being burnt. And my company is a huge multinational. And even though in India people might understand what is going on, maybe in some other part of the world when they read that the laptops were burnt, it, it might have tough time explaining to people. So I thought that I'd spare them spare my company as well as pro protect my freedom of speech, so I resign. These websites are of course not without problems. Very often the people who log on want nothing more than easy access to pornography since this medium is so devoid of censorship. Yet where does the buck stop and how does one tell the genuine from the fake? Time for a break. After the break we're going to look at relationships of a different kind, business online. <laughs>
In the late 90s, it was the thing to do. People poured money into the web without really knowing whether it was a black hole that would suck them in or a wave they could ride on. The dot-com boom went bust soon after and business models online were pulled off with alarming speed. Some big names also went kaput and it looked like the joyride was going to be short-lived. And yet today, businesses continue to thrive online. I would frankly wish that people stop talking about I internet advertising or online advertising, just started to talk about interactive advertising. When you are a brand in the marketplace fighting for attention, attention is the single hardest, most difficult, most expensive thing to exact out of the consumer. They are increasingly chintzy with their time. Well. If I was a brand, what I really want is interaction. Today you have media agencies for whom the bread and butter is online advertising. The interesting thing about advertising online is that the ads are getting glitzier and more innovative each day. Rather than to rely on pop-ups that annoy customers, these ads can be viewed whenever you want and as many times as you choose to. There has been a perceptible shift in the way people advertise. And even though five years ago the amount being spent on online advertising was only 3 to 5 crores, today the figure has grown by 40%. So why are big companies, even film companies, spending more money on online advertising? They say that this growth is attributed to the way people are spending their money in India. A market research by Jux Consult indicates that the biggest spenders are in the 25 to 35 age group and 23% of these individuals log on between 2 and 5 times a day. Every three out of four of these net users owns a vehicle of some kind and every second net user has a credit card. All these are indicators of their spending power. Because of this, advertising on the internet has become far slicker and definitely more interactive. Uh, it's new form of uh, media which is consumer are sort of adopting. Uh, it's not only media but goes beyond media which is pretty unique uh, if you compare to like uh, any other form of media which goes all of two uh, sort of starting, uh, creating awareness, all of two, um, uh, say, transactions. So it uh, impact each level, creating awareness, consideration set, information dissemination, and people can close the transaction online also. And it's not just advertising online that's adding to revenues. Online job sites like Nokri.com and Monster.com are also extremely popular. On these websites, you can get a resume created. You pay a normal amount to register and then wait to get matched to a company that likes your profile. Varun Agarwal lives in Meerut and wanted a job in IT. The whole process of applying for jobs took a toll on him till the internet came to his rescue. With video conferencing facilities available through this, he could now apply to five jobs simultaneously and be interviewed by them using broadband. Video conferencing se hume paise aur samay ki bachat to hoti hi hai, lekin confidence level jo hamara dusre shehron mein ja ke reject hone par low hota hai, wo nahi hota. हम अपने शहर में रह के इस टेक्नोलॉजी का फायदा उठा के हम बहुत कॉन्फिडेंटली इंटरव्यू देते हैं और इससे नेचुरली हमें बहुत फायदा होता है There are others who have maximized the use of the internet and used it to create assets Pavan has a background in finance and has also done a course in IT Investing in infrastructure was not something that he was keen on and so he decided to pool his resources and began trading online He trades on the stock market every day तो हमने ट्रेडिंग का काम में मैंने हाथ डाला जिसके थ्रू उसमें मेरठ जैसे छोटे शहर में तो इंटरनेट की इतनी सुविधा नहीं थी तो साइबर कैफेज में जाना पड़ता था तो ट्रेडिंग करने के लिए उसमें बहुत कॉस्टली पड़ता था हमको तो अब छोटे से शहर में अब क्या है कि अब ट्रेडिंग शुरू हो गया है यहाँ पर तो जिसमें इंटरनेट की भी सुविधा है ब्रॉडबैंड भी आ गया है अब बहुत फास्ट होने लगा है तो इसलिए मैंने इसको फुल टाइम कैरियर के रूप में चुन लिया Experts feel that making money on the internet is not as tough as was initially thought. Secure business transactions take place online and more and more people are actually purchasing goods and services. According to them, the biggest winners are travel products, books and music, furniture and other household items, art, electronic items and miscellaneous. I, I shop for uh, tickets, that is uh, air tickets and all online because you get some very good deals online. I like buying books and all online because uh, there are some books which you might not find in, in the city or which might have just released or something which you can pick up from uh, first and second or one of these bookstores. Amazon.com, these are the kind of places. Plus, someone likes to go and check out Bazi.com because you might get some good deals on cameras and stuff like that. I've not picked up anything extensively expensive. I've gone more for things that are uh, 
uh, there are well relatively cheap like four five thousand bucks is the maximum I've ever spent online but there are people who it's a very good medium to uh, at least do a lot of research for example if you want to buy a car and you want to do a comparative it's a good medium the world has indeed become smaller and the internet continues to be the latest global bind as it impacts lives across the globe by creating enterprise and innovation. That's all we have time for on today's special report. Thanks for watching.